Ginseng growers install tarps or wooden shades because the plant grows best out of the sun. But what's most valuable is the root, and that stays in the ground for about three years. A three-year-old's over here and this is two-year-olds. This is Marathon County in central Wisconsin, home to approximately 90% of the United States ginseng crop. So the nearly 200 growers here could be hit particularly hard by a 15% tariff China has imposed on ginseng, part of China's response to steel tariffs levied by President Trump. But they'll find out this fall whether the extra costs will be passed on to farmers, distributors, or consumers. That's when most of the roots are harvested, cleaned, and shipped. According to estimates from the Wisconsin Ginseng Board, Wisconsin produces one million pounds of ginseng a year, and most of it goes to China. Ginseng is primarily used in cooking, but it's also put in many other products. When I was little, my mother took ginseng every day. Sometimes I stole a piece of ginseng. It tasted good and a little sweet. Much of Wisconsin ginseng is sold in boxes noting as something special from Wisconsin. This retiree in China says he buys Wisconsin ginseng, but doesn't know how he'll be able to afford it if the extra cost is passed on to consumers. If we keep eating, we cannot afford it. If we stop eating, it's part of our daily life and it's good for our health. Look how much I bought from the U.S. recently. They were all produced in Wisconsin. Some growers say if the tariff does stay around, it will definitely affect the Wisconsin market. But it's difficult to predict the exact financial impact since prices have always fluctuated. I think it's more of a ploy by the government to, you know, get people talking about stuff, which I seems to be working. A tariff problem Ms. Ginseng Farmer hopes can be fixed before it affects a $30 million a year industry. Carrie Antelfinger, Associated Press.